simple color grading in capture one or how to make your colors pop in capture one okay so you know um color grading is what makes your your picture more exciting okay so and that's why it's important that after your color correction after fixing your exposure you do some color grading on your pictures okay um it makes it very exciting for example look at this picture so i took it from here to here okay this is the power of color grading so i will reset this to this and then i'll walk all over it again and then you'll see how i do it okay so let's reset this okay so the first thing you want to do is to fix your exposure okay so on the exposure panel bring down the highlights to reveal the details of the background okay okay now after that the picture is looking cold which is good but let us just add a little um yellow to the kelvin um this is the white balance tool okay so add a little yellow okay don't do it too much okay then um the overall saturation of the image you can increase it a bit okay and then lift the shadow to brighten up the image okay then add a little black sorry reduce your black for contrast reduce your shadow to a little bit okay so this is the before this is the after so we have fixed the exposure and we have we have done the color correction now let us do the color grading that will make this picture very exciting or um just say let us pop the colors and make it very very good so on the color panel what you want to do is select so on the color panel come to color editor the advanced tool then select the green on the background okay let's change that first so i would like to change it to something like blue okay i know it was red when i when i started the tutorial but for the sake of this class let's change it to blue and let's see what it's going to give us okay so let's check if the only thing selected is the green okay so far we can see that the only thing selected is green but let us move it away from yellow we don't want the yellow to be affected okay just the green uncheck this to see it in real time then shift this forward because we are coming to blue remember that the moment you shift this to to the right you are moving anti-clockwise on this color circle okay so select it again and move it to the right now we have blue okay so can increase the saturation reduce the brightness okay to have something like this okay the reason i'm making this blue is so that i can make the skin stand out okay can make the skin stand out now let us um work on the gene okay so select the color of the gene which is blue check to see that no other thing is selected okay and then increase the saturation of the blue let's pop it okay before and the after you see it's looking, it's looking exciting at the moment okay so let's work on the red so select the red on the flower or on the cloth okay no that's the flower is not giving me the red i want let's select the cloth okay now we can see red here and then um check to see that no other thing is selected okay some red are bouncing on the skin tone you can remove them with this loud slider you can remove them with this slider okay uncheck these and then increase the saturation of the red you can see the red really 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 popping at the moment okay so which other color can you see okay so let's 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 work on the yellow which is um the color of this thing down here so let's pick it let's check definitely the skin will be there let's see if we can eliminate the skin okay we can and we have done that okay so uncheck this increase the saturation probably the lightness okay okay 
and then lastly the skin so we can use the skin tone tool to pop the skin okay just select the skin and then check to see that only the skin has been selected but for these i think while i'm popping the skin if all these other colors are also popping up i like that okay so i don't need to do any setting on this slider here because we increase the saturation of the skin to make the skin tone come out properly okay increase the lightness okay and then under uniformity to you can use the saturation and the lightness of the uniformity to even the skin tone to an extent okay so these are before and these are after because this is how much you can make a picture very very interesting okay you can see the cut the skin tone the lipstick the colors on the cloth the background and the color of, or the color of the objects in the picture you can see everything coming out well okay so now the color of the of the lips I turned it, I turned it to red initially when we started this tutorial okay so now let's take it back to to that red okay so all you need to do is go to your uh, advanced tool okay so these um two green colors at the, at the color of the background okay so just click any click click any of them and i take this take this all the way back to minus 30. do the same thing for this and we are at red okay because red is at, at this side so by shifting this back we moved clockwise and then we got here okay this blue is for the gym this red is for the cloth, the red of the cloth, lipstick, and other red in the background, and then this is for the um, this yellow stuff down here. Okay, so you can always go back to any of these colors and change them to whatever works for you. So these are you can make your colors um, interesting in Capture One. These are you can do color grading in Capture One.